In this demonstration, you'll learn how to take fluent simulation results and post-process them using ANSYS Insight. ANSYS Insight is a powerful, general-purpose, post-processing tool capable of analyzing and visualizing simulation results, allowing designers to gain new insights and effectively communicate solutions. Insight is capable of reading results directly from fluent case files. However, Ensight attains much faster loading times and little to no data loss when results are exported into Ensight's native file format. I'll select the file type as an Ensight case gold file to save time and ensure accuracy when I load my file into Ensight. By default, exporting a case will pass on all available cell zones and the velocity vectors from the solution. If I wish to also view results for interior surfaces or other quantities, I can do so by selecting them before writing the file. For this case, I'll add some quantities to my list of variables and export my results. In Ensight, I can import a large variety of different files, both ANSYS and non-ANSYS related. Since I want to view the results I just exported, I'll retain the default setting and open the results. Ensight's interface is neatly organized for fast and easy post-processing of results. The Features panel is where most of the post-processing options are followed by the parts list, which is populated with the different domain boundaries and fluid regions that were included in the original model. The parts list will also contain results created in the session, such as contour plots and planes. Below the parts list is the variables tab, which contains the quantities I exported. At the bottom of the interface, I have various graphical and transformation options for the viewer. I'm going to remove the visibility of some of the parts so I can better visualize my model, then readjust the view using the Fit View button. I want to create a contour plot of the pressure on and around the vehicle, so I'll create a new contour with pressure as my variable. Next I'll assign this contour to all of the parts by clicking Case 1. Now I can create the contour with the selected parts. Ensight's contour feature differs from Fluent in that contours created here will only show the one-dimensional lines where the variable is constant. If I want to see the visualization over the surfaces, I'll need to assign the variable to each of the parts. I can go to the Variables window, right-click Pressure, and color all of the parts to the variable value. In the Parts list, notice how the parts now report that they are colored by pressure. I want to adjust the display of pressure to better reveal the behavior of the fluid, so I'll go to the Color Palette while my contour part is selected. I'll adjust the Pressure Variable Palette first by changing the number of levels to 21 in the Simple tab. Then I'll go to the Options tab and change the colors per level to 0. Finally, I'll change the color of the contour plot to black so that I can better visualize the gradient over the vehicle. Ensight's approach to post-processing lets you quickly and easily enhance information output by allowing different combinations of features and data to be displayed like a scene in Fluent. For example, I can retain the contour for pressure but recolor the other parts to show velocity. I could also keep the contour I've created and easily add in other features. For this case, I'll add a plane through the middle of the vehicle to see the velocity of the surrounding flow. I can specify a new plane by selecting the Clips option. I want this plane to be a Y-direction slice, and since I want it to cut through the entire domain, I'll select the Fluid Domain part. Note that since the Fluid Domain was colored by velocity, the Clip plane I just created is also colored by velocity. Before I adjust my viewer to get a better look at the plane, I'd like to save this view for later use. Ensight allows you to save views so that you can return to them. I'll click the View Orientation button and then hit New. This saves the current view, and so whenever I need to return to it, I can do so by clicking it. Now I'll adjust my view in order to examine my velocity results. I'll also save this view. By default, only the light source originating from the camera is active. I'll activate a second light source that I've defined using two points to point directly at the plane. Now when I switch views, the lighting between the two views is consistent. If I need to adjust a part, such as the plane, I can double-click the part in the Parts window and make the adjustments I need. Notice that any changes made in the editing window are automatically updated in the viewer. I can also move some features, like the Clips plane, by clicking once on the plane and then using the interactive tool icon to manipulate its location. I've finished analyzing the results and would like to save the progress I've made. I can save my progress by writing a command file to the directory that contains my case. In a new Insight session, I'll load these results by specifying a command file to open and then hitting play. 
As you can see, my results have loaded in exactly as I left them. This concludes this demonstration showing you the basic post-processing capabilities of ANSYS Insight.